Hi, I'm Kurt Clore from Automatic Irrigation, and I'm here to talk about how to install a rain sensor. A rain sensor is an easy way to make your irrigation system more efficient. They are made to save you water, and they also keep your system from watering when it's raining, which can be embarrassing. The first thing you want to do before you put the unit up is you adjust the settings on the unit itself. There's usually a rainfall setting on the unit, which you might set it for one eighth of an inch of rain will shut down your, your irrigation system. The other setting on the units is usually a vent setting. The vent setting will affect how quickly the sensor dries up and allows irrigation to start again. So one of the most important things when you're installing a rain sensor is finding the right place to mount it. You want to make sure that it's clear of overhangs from your roof and trees because you want to make sure that rain can get to the sensor. You want to make sure it's not in the path of your sprinklers because the last thing you want is for your sprinkler system to make your rain sensor think it's raining. You want to make sure you put it high enough to avoid vandalism so somebody doesn't mess around with it. You want to keep it within range of your controller, so if it's a wired controller or a wired sensor, you need to make sure it's within the range of this wire. Or for a wireless sensor, make sure that it is within the, the wireless range. The best place to put it is usually a gutter or a high fence po post that's out of the way uh, and yet will be exposed to the rain. So to wire the sensor, it's pretty simple. Most controllers nowadays have a, uh, a, a, a sensor input, so all you have to do is attach the two wires into the sensor inputs. Um, if there is no sensor input, you can generally interrupt the common. So you'll plug one wire from the sensor into the common, hook the other wire from the sensor to your, your common wire, and it will then interrupt your irrigation. If you have a wireless unit, instead of hooking the actual sensor to the uh, controller, you will be hooking the receiver from the wireless unit, but it's the same otherwise, except for the fact that you will probably need to plug your wireless receiver into the AC power. From that point, it's just a matter of activating the sensor on your controller. Um, many controllers have a toggle switch that just says bypass or activate, which is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Others have a, a position on the dial you turn to and make sure that you switch the, uh, the sensor mode to activate. And that's about all there is to that. It's a simple process. If you have any questions, please let us know here at Automatic Irrigation. Thank you.